Right now we're at Iron Smoke Distillery in Fairport, New York. Barrels and barrels of just glorious bourbon. Uh, it's a good place to be. Niagara Label has in, in, our, in our client base or our portfolio hundreds of wineries, distilleries, and breweries uh, collectively. We're just particularly well tooled for, for, that, for the, those industries. Uh, a lot of it has to do with the equipment that we've invested in. And the big label companies quite often take a lot of time to react. And, and we, like, we, I think, fly circles around some of the bigger companies and we're able to react more quickly. The other thing that I think sets us apart, and I think it really makes us the most dangerous, is our attitude. There is an added, there's an an underlying attitude at Niagara Label. I, I'm not quite sure how to articulate it. I'm basically just gonna lay it out. We have a very rock and roll culture, and we do. And I, I don't hide it. I'm actually proud of it. It's fun, it can be a little raucous, it's very passionate. I use that word a lot because there's a lot of passion uh, at our plant. Uh, you know, people are, it's, it's a, a plant full of artisans uh, that, you know, we're creating art that goes on products. Um, and, uh, and it's exciting, especially when we get some exciting art for an exci exciting project and it comes off the press. There's a real buzz that goes through our plant and that starts with the press operators and little, you know, little oohs and ahs. And next thing you know, people are walking around like, you gotta see this, you gotta see this. Before I was a member of Niagara Label, I, I worked at a different label company. And, and I would call on their customers. I mean, it's just, that was my job, is to prospect, knock on doors, try to get new work. And after a while, it became evident to me that I would knock on the doors of Niagara Labels customers. And there was like an, an overwhelming number of them basically made it clear that we're not interested. We love, we love our label supplier. Um, and there was the other thing too, or you know, we'd get a chance to quote the job, and I, I got I got tired of being embarrassed because our, you know our pricing wasn't quite as competitive. Uh, so that was one of the reasons that you know after I moved on, I, I just felt like I had to meet these people. It was a job for a while, and then the job became a career, and and it's not even a career anymore. It's, it's a lifestyle. It's it's what I do. It's just who I am. What gets me out of bed every morning? is this right here, what I'm doing right now.